Today on Shop Nation, I overhaul the drill and driver hanging organizer mounted underneath my cabinet by making it expandable and adjustable. I'll also make a simple charging station that both protects my chargers and batteries, as well as help me establish which batteries are fully charged. So a couple months ago, you might recall that we built this drill hanging solution and I'm just not really psyched about it. Now it does exactly what I designed it to do. It gets all the drills in one place. They're all easy to get to. It's right above where I keep all of my drill accessories, but the execution piece just uh, for me leaves a little bit to be desired. And specifically, it's the fixed nature of the design. You see, they all use the same size PVC pipe and although some drills fit really great, it's a good solution for, there are others that are not so good. It's too fixed in my opinion. So I wanna do something a little bit more adjustable. Now I got the idea for this adjustable design concept from another video that I'll link here. I wanna give credit where credit is due. All I'm really doing is taking that concept and applying it to an under cabinet situation for my specific shop. But the other kind of ignored aspect of the design is the charging situation. There's two problems that I wanna address. And the first issue has to do with dust. Now I probably go a little bit overboard when it comes to dust collection in my shop. I have four independent systems, but even with all that, everything still gets dusty. And I've never felt right about leaving chargers out and letting dust accumulate in all these contact points that your batteries have to interact with. So I wanna create a system that encloses this and the batteries. And the second thing I wanna solve for is the charge status of all the batteries I use in my shop. Now I've consolidated pretty much entirely to rigid and I've got a lot of batteries laying around, but I don't know what's the state of the charge of each of those batteries. And it gets me kind of annoying because sometimes I'll pick up a tool thinking it has a full battery and really it's out. Or even worse, I go to one of the batteries on one of these hangers and I find that that's out. So I want to integrate a way to separate the batteries that I know are charged and ready to go and the ones that need to be charged. Now all this is going to make way more sense once we get in the build and we'll start with the drill hanging system. So when figuring out the dimensions of these hangers, I took all of the various drill sizes that I have and took measurements from that. Then I cut one out to verify fit and function. And now it's just a matter of banging out eight exact copies. Anytime you've got a project like this and you've got a lot of the same thing you have to make, take that little bit of extra time and set up a stop or a jig to make all of this repeatable. It not only makes your life easier, but in the long run, you end up doing it in a lot less time. Now I need to add some chamfers and curves to these MDF supports, and this handy little 3D printed jig made things super easy.
Now I'm curious if anyone would be interested in plans for something like this. Leave your vote down in the comments and if enough people want them, I'll make them available. Whew, okay. So with all the pieces cut out, I've got everything labeled so I know which one goes with which, just in case the holes don't line up. Now it's just a matter of putting it all together and uh, installing it. Come on, you know I'm gonna finish it. And while I'm shaking up this paint, let me tell you about AG1. Now it goes without saying that I care a lot about the health of my shop, but I care even more about my own health, which is why I use AG1 every day as part of my routine. Now AG1 by Athletic Greens is a daily supplement that I've been taking for probably about a year now. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I got one question. How's that New Year's resolution coming? Well, AG1 can give you the energy and immune support to accomplish your goals in this new year. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm busy. I hardly have enough time to sleep, much less think about my nutrition, which is why I like AG1 to supplement the things that I'm probably not getting in my regular diet. And to be honest, I have a two and a half year old, so when he coughs in my open mouth, I wanna make sure my immune system is up to snuff. And honestly, they make it really easy. It's literally just one scoop into eight to 10 ounces of water, shake it up, and you drink it. This has become part of my morning routine, and although it kinda looks like pond water, I will admit, it actually tastes pretty good. And by having it the first thing that goes in my body every day, I know I'm starting off on the right foot. So whether you need a natural energy boost, some help with digestion, or you just wanna be proactive against a two and a half year old coughing in your mouth, I'd highly recommend you try it. Head on over to athleticgreens.com shopnation to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is gonna give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Seriously, I've been a paying customer long before they ever asked me to do a YouTube ad and I really believe in it, which is why I don't mind telling you about it. Okay, let's get back to it. All right, with the finish applied and everything dry, now let's just get this thing put together, get it mounted. You can see how easy these are to adjust to the exact fit of your tools. I probably won't have to touch these again, but if something does change, it's a simple matter to readjust. All right, hanging drill storage is done. It's awesome, huge improvement. Now let's tackle the charging station, which is gonna go right there. So as I'm mocking this thing up, I wanna make sure that I have clearance when the biggest, fattest battery is in the charger. The angle top should clear the high spot here. That rectangular cutout on the far side is to help hide the wires and extension cord I plan on using. And this false back will make this little compartment invisible from the front of the unit. And here's a little better view of that wiring compartment I'm talking about.
Now making this top was a little tricky because I wanted to keep it low profile. So I got everything set up in place with some CA glue and accelerator. I went back and added some wood glue as well. Now just trimming off those little corners to make everything flush. Now in keeping with tradition, I'm definitely gonna paint this thing. Now I know it's shop furniture, you don't have to, but in keeping with the, sort of the theme in my shop, I'm gonna add a coat of Cyberspace, which is a Sherwin-Williams color, which I painted everything in my shop. Yes, I probably should have primed this, but after two coats, it's perfectly fine for its intended purpose. And with that out of the way, we can finally attach the door with some hinges and get the chargers installed inside. You can see I ended up mounting the DeWalt charger at a slight angle to make battery changes easier. So since this will be hung by the cleat at the top, there's some clearance behind here for the wires. So I'll route them along the back and shove the rest in that little secret compartment. This makes the final install really clean with only one cord visible from the outside. Now finally to add the battery hangers on the underside. These are 3D printed and designed by me and available in my Etsy store if you want some for your shop. I've got Rigid, DeWalt, Makita, and Milwaukee available. The idea here is the charge batteries go below and all the dead batteries are in the side compartment. Now I thought this piece qualified for the title and frankly the front just needed something, so I'm adding one of my shop greatness plates here. All right, that is a pretty sweet upgrade if I don't say so myself. It's honestly a really simple concept that I think is gonna help me a lot in differentiating which batteries are charged and which ones need to be charged. I also really like the window concept and the enclosed nature to make sure that no dust gets into the chargers, which has gotta help in the long run, right? So keep in mind if you're interested in the battery hangers or the plate or stickers or any of that stuff, I do have that for sale on my Etsy store if you wanna go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I know this is kind of a weird thing to redo a shop organizational project that I already did, but I frankly think this is a big improvement. And I like the adjustability and the fact that I can hang pretty much whatever I want from there. There's definitely a lot of ideas flowing through my head of other areas of my shop I can incorporate a similar concept. So as always, let me know what you thought about the project down in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. And if enough people express interest in plans in this, be sure to check those out if you want as well. I will catch you guys on the next project. And until then, keep pursuing shop greatness. <laughs>